this history is High Point's history, and you can't tell one without the other. A local historian is talking about a place that recognizes and honors some of High Point's most influential black citizens. Tomorrow, the Green Hill Cemetery along Leonard Avenue will get a new historical marker, and Fox 8's Madison Forsey is here to share the significance of this moment. Madison. Yeah, this piece of High Point history, more than 100 years old, the cemetery was created in 1910 on six acres and grew to 11. I sat down with one of High Point's local historians who is pushing to preserve a piece of history. On the surface, it's a place of reflection and peace to Phyllis Bridges. The 1250 people buried at Green Hill Cemetery have stories waiting to be told. What did they do to contribute to the community? Um, and if we don't tell those stories, we won't never know. As one of High Point's local historians, her mission to uncover buried history here on Leonard Avenue started in 2019. We realized that we had a lot of significant historical landmarks in the area of Washington Street. So we thought it would be a good idea to create an African-American heritage trail. Green Hill Cemetery is one of 12 stops, the fourth to be officially marked. The other three, Oakwood Cemetery, the John Coltrane House, and Washington Terrace Park. Once we dug in and start doing that research, it started giving us a big, bigger picture of who were part of the African-American community in High Point. What did they do in the community? to help build and grow High Point. Stories of black business women and men like John Kilby, who owned the Kilby Hotel on Washington Street. Doctors, teachers, preachers, and 210 veterans from World War I to Vietnam, all waiting to be rediscovered. Bridges calls it a who's who of Black High Point. A lot of our records have been deleted or information misprinted, uh, misspelled, the dates are wrong. Uh, we need to know that. She wants to bring in a group of interns dedicated to researching and publishing their stories, making sure the younger generation knows their past to steer the city in the right direction in the future. That's where you learn where you came from. That's where you learn who your people are. It's so much to be proud of when it comes to our history. And the marker placing ceremony for Green Hill Cemetery is at 11 a.m. tomorrow along R.C. Baldwin Avenue. Organizers picked Easter weekend in case people were coming to visit family. Now Bridges also tells me there's another marker in the works for First Baptist Church later this year. Back to you guys.